Welcome to the Global Cache iTach Wi-Fi Family of Gateways tutorial for iRule. We'll walk you through how to log into the gateway for the first time and then how to set it up so that it'll connect to your network. A few notes about some network requirements. Your Wi-Fi network will need to have an 802.11b enabled. This can be part of a mixed Wi-Fi signal, so if you're using an 802.11n router, you'll need to set it up so that it has a mixed signal with B enabled. Please refer to your router manual on how to change that setting. The other network requirement is that the GC gateway require a little bit stronger of a security so that you'll need to make sure that your router Wi-Fi password is using AES data encryption instead of TKIP. We'll start on the Wi-Fi connection icon on your taskbar. You can see that the iTach listed with the MAC address. Before we move on to the next step, make sure that you have written down the following information from your wireless router. We'll need it when we're connected to the gateway. You'll need to know the DHCP IP address range so that we can set a static IP address for the gateway. You'll need to know the gateway of your router. And you'll also need to know the subnet mask as well as the SSID or network name. And finally, you'll need to know the Wi-Fi passphrase or password. Now we'll connect to the gateway by clicking on the device in the Wi-Fi connection window. This will disconnect you from the wireless router and connect you with the GC iTach gateway. Now that we're connected to the gateway, open up your web browser. Type in the following IP address, 169.254.1.70 and hit enter. This will take you into the setup and configuration of the iTach gateway. Now select Network Configuration. This is where we'll make the proper changes so that the gateway will connect to your wireless router. The first step will be to change the network type from ad hoc to infrastructure. Simply use the drop down box to make the change. Now we can enter in our information from the wireless router that we wrote down earlier. We will start with IP address. A static IP address is recommended so that if your gateway resets, you'll not have to make any changes to the gateway in the iRule app. Continue on through gateway, subnet mask, SSID, and finally password. Click save at the bottom. The gateway will now reboot. It'll take approximately one minute for the gateway to reboot, and if everything was entered correctly, join the wireless network. To test whether the gateways has joined the Wi-Fi network, you can look at the back of the gateways and see that the power light is blinking once every second. This is to let you know that the gateway is on the network. Now if the light is not blinking, something did not take and you'll need to repeat the process. But before you repeat the process, you'll need to reset your gateway back to its factory settings so you can reconnect to it. To do this, insert a paper clip gently into the IR learning port, which is located to the right of the power on the back of the gateway. This is a field reset, meaning there is no button to push. If you push your paper clip in too far, you will damage the IR learner. You will know that your gateway is resetting when the IR port lights flash rapidly. Once you see the power light blinking, you can then go into the iRule app and set up your gateway. We hope that after watching this short video, you can see that setting up the Global Cache Wi-Fi gateways is pretty simple. Remember that if you need any help at all with any of our tutorials, you can go on iRuleAtHome.com 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.